Thank you very much for tuning in. I do not replace scripture study. The King James Version of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price are all holy scriptures for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll be reading and expounding from the Book of Mormon, but we'll get into these other scriptures at a later time. Elmer Jr., Chapter 25. Lemonite aggression spread. The seed of the priests of Noah perish as Abinadi prophesied. Many Lamanites are converted and join the people of anti Nephi Lehi. They believe in Christ and keep the law of Moses. Verse 1 And behold, now it came to pass that those Lamanites were more angry because they had slain their brethren. Therefore, they swore vengeance upon the Nephites, and they did no more attempt to slay the people of Anti-Nephi-Lehi at that time. Verse 2. But they took their armies and went over into the borders of the land of Zarahemla, and fell upon the people who were in the land of Ammonahah, and destroyed them. Verse 3. And after that, they had many battles with the Nephites, in the which... They were driven and slain. Verse 4. And among the Lamanites who were slain were almost all the seed of Amulon and his brethren, who were the priests of Noah, and they were slain by the hands of the Nephites. Verse 5. And the remainder having fled into the east wilderness and having usurped the power and authority over the Lamanites, caused that many of the Lamanites should perish by fire because of their belief. Verse 6. For many of them, after having suffered much loss and so many afflictions, began to be stirred up in remembrance of the words which Aaron and his brethren had preached to them in their land. Therefore, they began to disbelieve the traditions of their fathers and to believe in the Lord that he gave great power unto the Nephites, and thus there were many of them converted in the wilderness. Verse 7. And it came to pass that those rulers who were the remnant of the children of Amulon caused that they should be put to death, yea, all those that believed in these things. Verse 8. Now this martyrdom caused that many of their brethren should be stirred up to, angry, uh, to anger, and there began to be contention in the wilderness, and the Lamanites began to hunt the seed of Amulon and his brethren, and began to slay them, and they fled into the east wilderness. Verse 9. And behold, they are hunted at this day by the Lamanites. Thus the words of Abinadi were brought to pass, which he said concerning the seed of the priest, who caused that he should suffer death by fire. Verse 10. For he said unto them, What ye shall do unto me shall be a type of things to come. Verse 11. And now Abinadi was the first that suffered death by fire because of his belief in God. Now this, this is what he meant, that many should suffer death by fire according as, he's, as he had suffered. Verse 12. And he said unto the priests of Noah that their seed should cause many to be put to death in the like manner as he was, and, they, and that they should be scattered abroad and slain. slain even as a sheep having no shepherd is driven and slain by wild beasts. And now behold, these words were verified, for they were driven by the Lamanites, and they were hunted and they were smitten. Verse 13. And it came to pass that when, next page over, the Lamanites saw that they could not overpower the Nephites, they returned again to their own land. And many of them came over to dwell in the land of Ishmael and the land of Nephi and did join themselves to the people of God who were the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi. Verse 14. And they did also bury their weapons of war according as their brethren had, and they began to be a righteous people. And they did walk in the ways of the Lord and did observe to keep his commandments and his statutes. Verse 15. Yea, and they did keep the law of Moses, for it was expedient that they should keep the law of Moses, as yet, for it was not all fulfilled. But notwithstanding the law of Moses, they did look forward to the coming of Christ, 
considering that the law of Moses was a type of his coming and believing that they must keep those outward performances until the time time that he should be revealed unto them. So a couple of things to expound on. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. But in the beginning, it started off as just Nephites and just Lamanites. So these were the separate groups. Again, the Nephites are those that are considered to be try, trying to be like the Savior, you can say. The Lamanites are the people that through their history, their forefathers taught that the Nephites were the enemies, which was false. They taught that the Nephites were liars, which was also false. So because of that, they had that natural hatred for the Nephites. So that's the Lamanites there. Now we got this branch, you can say, of two of them. So of the Nephites, it branched off where there were the priests of uh, King Noah. Again, they were all doing wickedness, but they split up and now they've got their prosperity, you can say. And those people have become Lamanites by virtue or by negativity, you can say, of them rejecting God. Again, there were Nephites before, but now since they're not following God, you can say they're Lamanites. But also, too, there's the uh, Amulonites and the Amalekites. Both, both those groups as well were Nephites, but they went rogue, as I always say, and they have decided to basically be Lamanites at this situation. So again, the only people that are true Nephites, again, you can say they're Nephites just based upon their prosperity, being a descendant of Nephi, but also uh, Nephites are considered those that are, are doing good. So it can also be people that are not directly a part of Nephi's genealogy, but they're considered Nephites because they're friendly to Nephi. Now, on the other side, like I was uh, mentioning about the Lamanites. So with the Lamanites, again, any of all of those that were Nephites that rejected God, they all joined the Lamanite side. So it's either that type of group or it's those that are a direct descendant of Laman, Lemuel, or the, um, the children of Ishmael. So his sons and daughters that rejected God. So all their ge uh, genealogy or prosperity, you can say, are considered Lamanites at, at this point. Now within the Lamanites, we have a separate group, which is called the anti-Nephi-Lehi. So let's put them in the middle right here. So again, we got Nephites, we got Lamanites, but now we got anti-Nephi-Lehi. And with these people, they were once Lamanites, but Ammon and his brethren, the King Mosiah's four sons, all of them have been teaching the Lamanites. And so since they accepted God, they wanted to have a different name than being Lamanites. So now we got them right here as the anti-Nephi Lehi's. So with this group, you can still in a way consider them as a part of the Nephites because again, Nephites are those that are trying to do good. So I kind of put them there as well, but again, they're technically are Lamanites by their history but they have chosen to do good. So that's something to keep in mind here. Again, that's always something just to remember that we started off as just Nephites and Lamanites, and then we got these subcategories. But in the big picture, the number one thing to really understand, there are people that follow the Savior, and there's people that follow the devil. Verse 16. Now, they did not suppose that that salvation came by the law of Moses, but the law of Moses did serve to strengthen their faith in Christ, and thus they did retain a hope through faith and eternal salvation, relying upon the spirit of, spirit of prophecy, which spake of those things to come. Verse 17. And now behold, Ammon and Aaron and Amder and Himni and their brethren did rejoice exceedingly for the success which they had among the Lamanites, seeing that the Lord had granted unto them according to their prayers, and that he had also verified his word unto them in every particular. So that concludes the chapter. And verse 17, those are the four sons of King Mosiah. Again, it's Ammon, Aaron, Amner, and Himni. And I wanted to wrap up with my testimony that I know the Book of Mormon is true. It is the Holy Word of God. And so is the Bible. I know that if we do our daily prayer, our daily scripture study, and also possibly sing hymns as well. Doing those things will help keep the spirit to be with us. And when we have the spirit, I testify that that same spirit can show us all the things that are true. Help us to repent. Help us to understand the things we could be doing better. 
when to serve someone, when, when we should be helping out. I know that when we have the spirit to be with us, we are happier. We are filled with true joy that only comes from the gospel of Jesus Christ. We can be happy in this life, but if we want eternal joy, we need to learn of the Savior, be repenting daily, and also focusing on ways that we can serve other people. As long as we're doing good, we can have that true joy that we all desire for ourselves. And I wanted to leave y'all with my testimony in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen.